Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and today we are looking at unit rate. This lesson is part of the Mathematics 6 course on simplifyacademy.thinkific.com. What you can expect in this lesson is that we are going to define what unit rate is, then we'll give some examples of unit rate and some word problems because we need to apply what we are learning. Let's do this. First off, let me ask you a question. If this dude says, I earn $21 per three hours, and this guy says, oh yeah, well I make $36 per nine hours, and this guy goes, man, I only make $10 per hour. The question is, how do we know who makes the most? Well, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Unit rate is what gives us a way to easily compare different things. When we say it, we often use the word per, and it means per one unit. For example, we might say dollars per hour, which means how many dollars for every one hour? We might say words per minute. How many words can you type in one minute? Rotations per minute, miles per hour. Those are just some examples of unit rate. Again, you see that word per, it means per one minute, hour, whatever. Now what we're going to look at is an actual question with calculating unit rate. If I'm asked to calculate the unit rate, I'm basically dividing. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. But that's really it. It's a question of division. So if I run six miles in two hours, how many miles do I run per hour? Or how many miles per hour do I run? This is a ratio, so I'm going to write it as a ratio. First of all, ratios just mean division, right? And ratio of miles per hour means miles divided by hours. So I'm going to set it up as a ratio like this, miles on the top, hours on the bottom, miles per hour. And I'll write in those numbers, six miles in two hours is six divided by two miles per hour, and that gives me three. Six divided by two is three, so I'm running two miles per hour. Just kidding, three miles per hour, ha ha ha, did I catch you? I caught myself, oops. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what that would look like in a ratio. We've got six to two is equal to three to one. Remember when we've simplified ratios, basically we've done the same thing. All right, let's take a look at a quick math tip. Um, as you do advance through math classes, you'll see that division symbol less and less often, and instead you'll use fractions. Fractions are easier and more clear about what exactly you're being asked to do. So don't let that freak you out because this is a fraction. It's a fraction with a number over top of another number. Isn't that wild? Pretty crazy. All right, maybe I've blown your mind at this point, but let's go ahead and get back to some more examples. I wanna solve for these unit rate, or for the unit rate here. If there are 81 books in a classroom of 21 students, how many books per student are there? Well, I'm gonna write it as a ratio. Books per student means books divided by students. So that means I would set up my ratio as books on the top, students in the bottom. Books is the numerator, students denominator. 81 divided by 27 is equal to three. Therefore, there are three books per student. That is my unit rate. Let's do another example. Write this one as a unit rate. There are 15 balloons in three cars. Well, I'm going to set it up as a ratio and simplify it to having a denominator of one, which is the same exact thing as what we've been doing. In other words, balloons to cars is 15 over three, 15 balloons, three cars. If I simplify this down using those methods we've talked about of simplifying ratios, I would have five over one or five balloons per one car. It's the same thing. Notice I'm doing 15 divided by three. So five balloons per car. That's right. I drew a picture of balloons on a car. All right. There is my ratio set up. 15 to three is equal to five to one. Now let's talk about money. This is oftentimes the, t the place where we use unit rate most often. So let's talk money. Um, that question I asked at the very beginning of this, um, where we have these three people bragging about how much they earn, let's go ahead and figure out who actually makes the most. Let's do it. 
First off, $21 per three hours. We are going to set all of these up as ratios of dollars per hour. In other words, dollars divided by hours. So I guess let's go over to this one because it's the easiest. He already told us I earn $10 per one hour. All right, 10 per one, easy. Let's hop over here, $21 per three hours. That's 21 per three or 21 divided by three gives us seven, $7 per hour. And this guy here, Mr. Cocky, oh yeah, I make $36 per nine hours is 36 divided by nine. This dude's only making $4 an hour, yikes. All right, so there we go. And now we could actually compare who is making the most amount, all right? We can see who's making more because we have it in unit rates. That's what unit rate is good for. It's good for comparing different values quickly. All right, let's look at another way. Um, with Bill, Gill, and Jill all buying apples. Bill bought four apples for $3.28. Gill bought two apples for $1.60. And Jill bought six apples for $4.68. Who got the best deal? So what we're going to do is calculate the unit rate or how much it costs per apple. And then we're going to see who has the lowest amount. Who's paying the least amount per apple. All right. Let's do it. Dollars per apple. Gill, $1.60 divided by two, says Gill is paying 80 cents per apple. Let's go over to Bill, who is buying $3.28 for four apples. That's 82 cents per apple. Jill, however, is buying six apples for $4.68, which is 78 cents per apple. So therefore, Jill is actually getting the best deal, right? She's paying the least amount for apples. Nice. Good job, Jill. All right, now I'm going to pull a question from um, the worksheet, again, from the Simplify Academy course. This is a question from the worksheet, and this is, again, the most practical place that you see unit rate is often in the grocery store. Um, I see an item for sale. I can buy three for 99 cents. I can buy four for $1.36, or I can buy five for $1.75. What's the best deal? In other words, what is the cheapest or the cost per item for each one, all right? I'm looking for the cheapest cost per item. So let's take a look. First off, I am going to do division. I'll set it up so that I can see all three. 99 cents per three items, $1.36 per four items, and $1.75 per five items. And it's division in every case. These are ratios, right? So 99 divided by three is 33 cents. A dollar, one dollar and six, uh, 36 cents divided by four is 34 cents. And one dollar and 75 cents divided by five is 35 cents. Guess what? I did that on purpose. All right. So in each case, it's actually a little bit more expensive to buy more of them. Um, so the best deal in this case is buying three for 99 cents because the cost per unit or per item is 33 cents. That's how you compare items in the grocery store. All right, a couple things to remember. Unit rate is the amount of one item or a single unit. Per means division and you calculate unit rate by dividing. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Make sure to check out that Simplify Academy lesson. I'll have the link in the video description. Have a wonderful day, guys.